right, this is the live video inside the Bellagio Hotel where everybody had to come together because there was mass chaos. And as you can see, everybody was around here sitting. So we haven't been able to go back to our rooms. Daniel and I were, we were able to get to where we were at. But these are all the people randomly sitting inside the Bellagio Hotel where the sheriff is saying nothing happened as Daniel and I were sitting where bullets were being fired and we were in the lobby at the lobby bar. So, I wanted to post this so that everybody could see inside the Bellagio Hotel of why we are all down here. Well, the whole hotel is on lockdown. The whole hotel right is on lockdown. Not letting anybody Can't leave. get on the uh, uh, casino floor. Go to the casino floor. So, just to uh, make it clear to everybody exactly that there was stuff that was going on. I don't know about the other hotels, but I do know about the Bellagio because I hit the floor and Daniel jumped on top of me. So, there's all the people that were here at the hotel as we are on lockdown to let you know. There's more, I guess. It's all closed? Yeah. This is all closed off? We can't come out here? Some fresh no? air? No? no. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. So, if anybody has any questions as far as what they're saying on TV and what is actually going on, here's the proof. We called the police station and we also called uh, the news to let them know like I said, I don't know what happened at the other hotels. All I know is what happened here at the Bellagio because this is where Daniel and I were. And when the shots came firing in through the front door of the lobby and the mass chaos and stampede was when I was under the table and Daniel was on top of me and until the security came back over and started screaming, everybody get to the back, and then we were rushed to the back corridors where Daniel and I were able to maneuver around from the 32nd floor of the Bellagio Hotel to where our uh, hotel room is that was in the other tower. So we were able to maneuver around, but again, this is the hotel on lockdown. It's all shattered with glass up in front, and everybody was pushed to the back. So if anybody has any questions, or wondering what the news is reporting, this is live. I don't know how I could get any more. Okay. Okay. That's fine and dandy until we get told. So, what's the current situation? We can't leave. We can't leave, and we can't. We're just here because of everything that happened earlier, and now we're. Well, whatever you're hearing on the news, or whatever, who knows what. Yeah, because what they're reporting on the news is incorrect. Yes. Yeah, so and yeah, okay. So as long as you guys knew that too, that's what I wanted to make sure. Okay. All right that they're reporting that nothing happened here and we were actually sitting at the Petrosian Lounge um, when all the mass chaos happened and we heard the bop, 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 bop. Yes. We were at, at the front. We were at the front. So, yeah. All right. So anyways, everybody, there it is. All right. I hope that helps you as far as uh, knowing exactly what was going on here at the Bellagio Hotel. Good night. Okay, you gotta help me to, um, we're going back up to the room, I guess I'm not off yet. So anyways, here's Daniel and I. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to turn the camera around so they can see their dress.
So now we're going back in the elevator. Can you turn it? Did we stop it? Is it still live? Hi, everybody. Hi, we're safe. We're safe. Mom, prayers and all of our love sent to everybody that had to go through this. But I don't like the fact that it was being reported one way. We were trying to make all kinds of phone calls because when I heard the gunfire and I've never, I've never heard anything like that and I never in my life thought I'd ever be in anything like that. And now they were saying no, that nothing happened at the other hotels. Like I said, I don't know what happened at the other hotels, but I do know what happened at this one. And I know that my husband, the hair, jumped on top of me and I was holding on to another lady because she was scared to death crying until the security told us that we could then be ushered to the back corridors. We were just trying to maneuver around the hotel and to get back to our room. So all those people down there, because the hotel is on lockdown, um, and I know, like I said, we, I couldn't get close enough to film the front doors with all the glass and everything all over, but uh, I'm sure that's why they're not letting anybody out because of the bullets that were probably in the lobby and the glass that was all over. So I hope this helped to clear some stuff up for people just in case you uh, might want to know what's really going on here. And I hope that the news does get it straight because I know they usually do a good job. All right. Good night, everybody. God bless.